I was amazed when this watch came across my desk. Now I say that because I purchased it with my own money, but when I saw it come across my feed, I just knew I had to have it. This is so affordable that anybody can buy this, and this is just the best bang for buck I've ever seen on the watch market, ever. And I'd like you guys to prove me wrong in the comments down below. Today we are talking about this Sagis Jump Hour Salmon Dial. This has been one of the more exciting watches I've been waiting for, and you'll understand why when we get into the hands-on portion of the video. As always, all the details up front, then my opinion at the very end. But before we get into that, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, it's free, doesn't cost you anything, but it helps the channel, hit the like button, and let's go ahead and hop into the hands-on portion, details first of the video. It's really hard to put into words just how beautiful this watch is it truly is amazing and stunning now the one i have is the salmon dial and they do offer this in a gray strap but i like the black strap i just think it looks more elegant and more like a dress watch there are a few things on this watch to me that make it more of a dress watch harder to dress down but you still can and i'll show you at the very end because we're going to toss a chase strap on this anyway the details of the watch first then my opinions at the very end this thing comes in at 38 millimeters in diameter the case thickness on that high polished case is going to be 10 millimeters but that does not include that domed mineral crystal the lug to lug on this is going to be 46 millimeters so it's not overly large it's going to sit Perfect on most medium-sized wrists. I'll show you a wrist shot also closer to the end. The lug width on this is going to be 20 millimeters. So generally, every single watch strap you find out there is going to be 20 millimeters. So this is going to fit generally everything. The case on this is 316L stainless steel, high polished along the side. So this is slightly more dressy. You see high polished along dressier watches, but brushed along the top so it doesn't shine too brightly. Again, a mineral crystal along the top, which is okay. Uh, mineral crystals normally are on more affordable watches and this is a more affordable watch. But from the side, it makes it so that the crystal is more clear and there's less milking, I guess you could say, less milky glass that you'd find on something like a sapphire. So I think they did an overall good job using a piece of mineral glass there. On the back is a screw down case back. This thing has 50 meters of water resistance, so it does not have a screw down crown. It does offer hand winding. And inside is gonna be the Seagull ST1721 automatic movement. Now the automatic movement in this is gonna only have 35 hours of power reserve. It's gonna have a vibration or a beat rate of 21,600 vibrations an hour. So that second hand, that sub second hand just above the six is gonna tick at six ticks a second. But really what makes this watch amazing is gonna be that jump hour, the window you see, the hour window just below the 12. Now, a lot of affordable watches don't do a good job when it comes to these type of complications. And I think that a jump hour complication is similar to a moon phase, right? It's unnecessary, but it's cool to have. Now, I think they did such a good job lining everything up on this watch. I'll show you the functionality. One pull of that seagull movement, and let's rotate the minute hand here around and you can see that there's an eight and just as i hit the exact center of that window you see it change it change over really precision when it comes to that kind of things they they a lot of these more affordable watches and this thing is 140 but 140 dollars for this watch and look at how how well the quality control was on this. And we'll talk about the dial and do some macro shots in just a moment. Absolutely perfect. At the 60, comes right over. Amazing. You don't see many date windows uh, or date wheels on affordable watches do that. This thing, I think they just did a good job. Now, when it goes back, you can also rotate back and 
change it that way if you are changing the time. But generally, moving forward, everything is just perfectly lined up. Now let's talk about this beautiful dial because for a watch that comes in at $140, it's amazing how well the dial was actually done. Again, this is the salmon dial. They have some brushing around that circular outside where the indices are. The indices are Breguet printed and the hands right here, the minute hand and the second hand are blued. Probably not true blued, probably painted blued for $140, but they're still done quite nicely. You can see there's deep, deep grooves that spiral from the outside to that brushed minute track around the indices. And then you have concentric circles around the second hand. Now, when you look at the up close pictures, you can see that it's done extremely well to, to an extremely high quality, I think, for 140 bucks. Normally, if a watch is around 300, 400, 500 dollars, you're going to see a bunch of dust in the dial or you're going to see problems with the printing, but it's amazing that Sigis was able to come up with a watch this good. Now, clearly they had to cut some costs somewhere. For example, the movement inside. Yes, everything is lined up perfectly, but 21,600 vibrations an hour is not a high beat movement and they could have put a high beat movement in. It. 35 hours of power reserve is almost nothing, right? In a day and a half, it's going to start losing time and losing power, and then suddenly you're going to have to wind it again. That being said, it is an automatic watch, and that's just the nature of automatic watches. They lose power, and then suddenly you have to reset everything. I like the fact this doesn't have a ghost date, so when I pull it out once, boom, it is in the time only function as opposed to something like an NH35, which has no date. And then suddenly you pull this out and then there's a ghost. I like the fact that they're using correct movements and watches instead of modifying cheaper ones. Now, Seagull overall do have high quality movements at a more affordable price. The leather strap on this is okay. It's not the highest quality leather in the world, but it's done quite nicely with a buckle and tang that match the case. Let's go ahead and toss it on the wrist. Now here's the watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, and it fits very nicely with that lug to lug or footprint of 46 millimeters. My wrist is seven and a quarter, and that's an average sized wrist, right? Anywhere from, I'd say six and three quarters all the way up to seven and a half is an average sized wrist. This thing is going to fit you perfectly. I think choosing 38 millimeters for the case diameter, it was right in the sweet spot of almost everybody at 10 millimeters thick even with that slight dome mineral crystal this thing is going to slip under a cuff or a sweater or whatever you're going to be wearing quite nicely this thing just screams elegance it's done so well the price point of 140 dollars i think is is too cheap for a watch this good let's toss it on a chase strap and here is one of my favorite straps. This is the vintage gray leather strap from, of course, Chase Straps, my own personal watch strap company. And you can see how the gray with the salmon dial actually looks quite nice, especially the vintage suede here. This thing is gonna break in quite nicely. So you can either have something more dressy like a black leather, or you can even dress it down in something like this vintage suede. Now for $140 shipped to my house for free, it took, oh, I wanna say a week, two weeks, uh, shipping up here to Alaska, I can tell you that there's one flaw, one flaw I saw on the watch. I don't know if you guys saw it when I did the macro photography, but for $140 to have such a detailed textured dial with different levels of finishing, I can, I can give them a pass on one small thing on the dial that didn't kind of look perfect. Outside of that, it's hard to complain about the watch. I said before, the jump hour is similar to a moon phase. It is not necessary. It's just cool to have. But generally, you don't see a jump hour on anything outside of a higher-end luxury watch. It's not on a Timex. It's not on a Casio. It's not on a Citizen. right? It's not on these affordable watch brands that we are so used to, but Sagis 
and Seagull and a lot of these other Chinese brands that are interchangeable are bringing these to the market and giving you guys the ability to kind of go outside of your wheelhouse of just simply dive watches and chronographs and give you something slightly more elegant that is different. This thing in the light really does catch your eye. Those concentric grooves that spiral outward catch almost like a sunburst fashion. Uh, the light and then it brings your eye it draws your eye down to the wrist and then you look at it and you're like well there's only one hand and then there's a sub second hand and then you notice there's a window underneath the 12 and then you're like oh well that's interesting so the hours displayed in the window the minute it's displayed as a standard hand and then you have these sub seconds at the six o'clock and then you get a compliment on it especially because it has that salmon colored dial. A lot of people don't see it. Champagne colored, salmon colored, you know, a light pink-esque kind of bronze look. A lot of people don't see dials like that. They're so used to seeing the white dial, the black dial, maybe a color variant of something, but this thing screams absolute elegance. And it has been a conversation starter for a couple weeks that I've had it. Generally, people know if you're in the watch community, you don't, nobody cares about your watch. Nobody cares about your watch except another watch person. Or if it's blinged out, covered in diamonds, or it's like rose gold or yellow gold, and it really does like bring your eye down, and you're like, oh, that looks like an expensive watch. But nobody really cares, right? I could spend $12,000 on on an aftermarket Submariner because I can't get one on an authorized dealer and nobody's even gonna know it's on my wrist. It might as well be a Tissot Sea Star, right? This thing is different. And not only can it be dressed down like in that chase strap that I showed you, the vintage suede chase strap, not only can it be dressed down, which actually is kind of amazing that you have such a dressy watch that can be dressed down, but then you put it on the black leather strap and it can be worn easily with a suit. It's rare that you find a watch that can do that, but Suggest just gave you an automatic watch that can. And not just that, not just is the dial done very well and the finishing done very well on the watch, but then what amazed me the most, what amazed me the most was the fact that the jump hour jumped perfectly, perfectly, which you never see. You never see that. The The minute hand comes along, hits the 60, perfectly vertical, then the hour jumps over. Just the quality control on this watch was done extremely well. They don't know who I am. I just ordered it with my own name. It's not like I'm, I reached out to them as a YouTuber and said, hey, send me your best watch. I ordered as a customer and I got this very, very high quality watch for 140 bucks. I would beg you, I beg you to leave down in the comments below a watch that offers the same type of quality, the same type of quality control. I, I, I don't give two shits if it came out of China. That's a, an issue that you have, not me. But this is a great watch. This is a great watch. I want you guys to leave a comment down below of a watch of similar quality for the same price. Anyway, if you've stuck around this long, hit the subscribe button. It's free, it really does help the channel. Leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see. This is all things random, mostly watch reviews, but I got some random stuff coming down the pipeline as we are speaking. Stay tuned for those, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.